case if I fall under level 7 category, does my wife still eligible to work full time? The rules with uh, whether your wife can, your spouse can get a, um, <clears throat> a work visa or not. Uh, well, be that if you're doing a level 7 course, it's got to be an exact match to a course in the long term skill shortage list. If it is not an exact match and it's only level 7, then she will not be eligible. The, or you should be in level 8 or 9 or 10, you know, only then it will be eligible. So that's the way it is. I don't know if you're already in New Zealand. I get the feeling you're already in New Zealand. If you're already in New Zealand, connect with uh, our senior manager, Mary, or send both your CVs to info at ajvglobal.com and we will pick it up from there and advise you further. If you're still not in New Zealand, you're planning to come, then I think it's very important you talk to us immediately because we can come out with the right course choice so that both of you can come as a couple. <clears throat> the other important thing for all the couples uh, watching uh, is uh, a lot of these student agencies will uh, pull you in and say, okay, I can do your admission and visa. And they'll tell you that they can also do their uh, your spouse's work visa after you get your student visa. Be very careful, unless and until they have a license like that, uh, they cannot uh, do any visa except a student visa. And they will ask you to lie and you know do other things. And uh, sometimes you will get caught and the immigration department will say, no, we cannot give a work visa to the spouse. I deal with so many cases like this every day. So be very careful, work with a company like AJV that has got a licensed immigration advisor uh, on the team. Uh, and we'll be able to define the complete uh, scope of who can come, what course, if both can come, what happens after you come here, all that we can help you with.